What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecola Espresso and welcome to today's video and today we're going to be talking about some Call of Duty 2014 news and information here. There's not much to go over but what there is is quite interesting in my opinion and I think that you guys will enjoy it. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So for those of you guys that don't know, the Game Developers Conference happened in San Francisco this past week. It happened on the days of the 17th to the 21st and for those of you guys that do not know, it is a place for developers to show off things coming up in their project playbook and to discuss things like programming, design and other aspects of games just to show off pretty much so it's kind of like an e3 just for game developers but at gdc making an appearance was sledgehammer games there to speak about call of duty 2014 now in their time to present it said that Sledgehammer Games showed off an image of an in-game render of one of the characters for Call of Duty 2014. Now, though it only was there for a split second, there are no images to show officially of what those attending saw. But one of the things that is coming to the public from the time that Sledgehammer Games had on the podium was the fact that Sledgehammer said that this is going to be the most ambitious, most creative game we've ever made. Now, with Sledgehammer now consisting over 200 staff members developing this year's title and no real information given on it, it is very plausible with this many people working towards a common goal that it could be something great. Now, is it something that is relating to the most ambitious and creative title in the Call of Duty series or the Sledgehammer Games library? As much as I want to see that this is the most ambitious and creative Call of Duty of the titles, I'm really thinking that this quote is just relating to the Sledgehammer library of previous works that they have done. Embarking on their own Call of Duty title, whereas they previously only worked on Modern Warfare 3 with Infinity Ward, this is something that is definitely going to be ambitious for them. So, it is something that I'm quite looking forward to to see some more information coming out of it, but that quote, I really do feel like it just refers to their previous works and ties with various other games. Now, as for the rumor with High Moon Studios developing the ports for Xbox 360 and PS3, this allows Sledgehammer to work exclusively on next-gen consoles, which is, again, very ambitious. This isn't something that we've seen from previous Call of Duty developing teams, and it would certainly allow for a lot more intricate design work and a lot more complex mechanisms in the game to be developed if there is less to develop for and more powerful tools to use. But that's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, please leave a like rating down below. Any shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you're OG like that are always greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty 2014 content. As always, I'm going to be bringing you guys the news as soon as it comes to me. So thank you guys once again so much for watching. As always, I hope you guys are having a great day. I shall see you guys later. Take care and peace.